Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been such a long time since we've actually sat down and had a chance to talk with each other. So welcome back. I just wanted to tell you that I'm really excited to be back on my channel. I've just had some really busy things going on in my life and I've kind of gotten away from my videos. And please know that you have been missed, your comments and your love. And so I'm just gonna send a great big love to all of you on my channel and I just wanted to stop and do a small video in the evening time and I'm just going to jump right into it. These are some things that I picked up recently um, for, for my channel to do a review and a lot of them are actually Maybelline. As I was sitting down to film, I was looking over them and I thought, wow, there's quite a few things that are Maybelline. Um, so really exciting things are coming up and here's some of the things that I um, that I wanted to try and this is the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. It's a treatment and concealer with Gojo Berry and Hydroxyl and it looks like this. Um, several of you have probably seen or some of you have probably even used this. Um, this was actually something that I saw um, and this is kind of funny. I actually saw this when Dolce Candy was doing the blindfolded makeup tag on one of her friends and she said, I, I haven't even seen it and I'm already sold. And I thought, you know what, I haven't seen or tried this either, but um, I know that um, Makeup by Tiffany D recommends using this. I know that she is a fan and I think that we can say that Dulce Candy is going to be a fan also. So I'm going to give this a try and do a review on it and I'll let you know how I think that that does for under eye concealing. Um, I tend to have a little bit of puffiness under the eyes so I'm interested to see how this will work um, for that product. So I am going to keep my packaging just in case I need to do um, a different like a color swatch. I couldn't really tell very well. Um, the color that I picked up was medium and there was also one that was called honey and I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. So when I stepped away from the lighting, the honey one looked like it had more of a rose type base to it and the medium one seemed like it had more of a yellow base that I know that definitely have uh, the yellow base tones in my skin. So I went with the medium one so hopefully that's a good choice. Um, the next thing that I picked up is the Maybelline One by One Mascara, and this is the Volume Express One by One, and I picked this up in the blackish black, but I just really liked what it said on the back and what the claims are, are this is exclusive lash cut your brush, catches and coats, and declumps every single lash for our most refined volume from root to tip, instant clump free volume, dermatologist tested and safe for contact lens wearers. So I'm interested to give that a try and I'll give you a review once I'm finished. And these are two things that I have been really, um, I walk by these and I, <clears throat> I want to buy them a lot and I just have it and have it and put it off. And this weekend when my girlfriends went out, she was like, no, just get some and give them a try. And that is the, um, 24 hour color tattoo um, and this one is a color tattoo called color tattoo metal and it's the 24 hour eyeshadow in the color inked in pink and it's just this really gorgeous metallic -y pink color it's really pretty. I think that this is comparable to um, the NYX jumbo eyeshadow pencils so I'm going to kind of do a comparison between those two and I'll use my jumbo eyeshadow pencil and then I'll use this one and kind of compare the two um, on each eye and see which one works better. So that's going to be a review that's coming up. And the other color that I got was called Bad to the Bronze and I'm sure everybody has heard of this color and how wonderful and terrific it is. And um, I am a big fan of taupes and nudes and um, like a nutmeggy color. I like to wear a natural look during the day because I feel that um, while I'm doing my jewelry marketing, um, having a natural soft face like the one that I'm wearing now, it allows the jewelry to really stand out and it doesn't distract from how beautiful the jewelry is. 
So um, I like to go just for a natural neutral look. And then if I'm going to have a fun day and uh, and do something that's a little bit more dramatic, then I can do that and I'll just kind of tone them, tone the jewelry down. But um, but you know, like for example, if I'm wearing silver. Um, t-shirt, silver, then I can feel free to do a little bit more color. But with, uh, for example, with this look, it's a big, bold jewelry. So I like to let the jewelry shine and let my makeup take a back seat, if that makes sense. Um, and the next thing that I picked up are some Pond's Evening Soothe Wet Cleansing Towelettes. They look like that. And um, I have heard that this is a really nice uh, fragrance. It's got the calamine, cal uh, sorry, calomile and white tea. And um, I can't smell them through the packaging, but um, I do know that a friend of mine uses these, and she said it's, um, that they're just wonderful for the evening time. They've got a nice soothing scent to them. So that was another thing that I picked up. And then I went to Ross, and, um, and I just found some really neat things. Some of them are some embellished note cards. They're really pretty. They've got, like, little pieces of gold, and they're just really pretty little embellished note cards. And then on the back, you can see it's got these really pretty um, envelopes, too. It's like the little to from area is really pretty. And I also got this one, which is um, a great big sunflower with some butterflies. It's really pretty. I just love the gold on it. And then this is what that looks like. And I got them at Ross. And um, I like those a lot. And then another thing that I got at Ross, and this is really hilarious. My girlfriend and I saw this, and there was only one. So we kind of argued back and forth who was going to purchase it. But um, she actually let me purchase it and take it home because I just simply love it. It's this coffee cup. Let's see if I can hold it still so you can see what it says. It says, this day was a total waste of makeup, and it's got this little teeny tiny kiss on it. And I just love it. So I'm just, it's so adorable. And I, the funny thing is that when she saw it, she just started cracking up laughing. And she's like, Rebecca, you've actually said this before. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? And she's like, check this coffee cup out. And um, so it was crazy. It was hilarious. So I think that's how, uh, how she let me win the argument is I've actually uttered this statement before. So I'm just going to stop right there and just kind of hold it up and smile. Thanks for letting me have this. I really appreciate it. And those are all the things that I purchased this weekend. Um, not a lot of major purchases, but I've just had so much fun hanging out with some friends. Um, I'm starting to feel better. For those of you that don't know, um, for those of you that follow me on my Facebook channel, you'll know that I've suffered from bronchitis for the last week. And they put me on some antibiotics. I've been running the gamut of that and just trying to work and get better and uh, and doing my jewelry marketing, which I absolutely love. For those of you that don't know, I have been hired by a company called Jewels by Park Lane, and they are based out of Chicago, Illinois. They are a company that is family owned and operated, and it's simply fantastic. I can't say enough about how much I love this company, how much I enjoy working with it and I'm wearing a couple of their pieces right now. This is called Kona and it is just the prettiest. Um, it's in the yellow gold and it's got these really pretty, I think they call these Droomsies and if I'm not pronouncing that, please correct me. And I, but it's this really pretty um, sparkling Droomsies and my ring is also from that same collection that really pretty droomsy and then also the really pretty earring and I simply love them. They remind me of volcanic ash and um, like pahoy hoy if we've ever seen how that um, pahoy hoy crystal when you um, when you take that volcanic ash the pahoy hoy actually has um, this really shiny iridescence to it as well so I'm just going to call this my Pohoi Hoi necklace, and um, I just really love it. It's The collection itself is called Kona, and um, 
it's just really pretty. I like it a lot. Um, I have several new pieces from, from the 2013 line, and if you would like to see more of those collections, just comment down below, and um, I'll do like a whole jewelry review if you'd like. Um, these are on loan to me for the night from my girlfriend, so I appreciate that as well. And um, I will talk to you next time. And until then, stay beautiful. Have a great day.